According to the farmers, the drought is severe and they are struggling to survive it. They approach the government office for drought relief assistance and a delegation from the office of the Prime Minister was sent to Omaheke region where the farmers raised their concerns and were given strategies. Because among the strategies is that you must sell some of your kettles, then you get a density for 500 per head of kettle that you sell. Or you have to take the animals to a grazing area for this. You will be assisted with transport and grazing fees and whatsoever. Others are subsistence farmers and they do not have enough cattle to sell to be subsidized by government. For communal farmers to take their cattle to commercial areas, Kawandara says it will mean the commercial farmers will benefit twice. Those willing to assist are reluctant to do so, says Kawandara, as they do not know how long the drought season will persist. And we have raised to the, to the delegation of the office of the Prime Minister, where all the regional councillors and many government, um, of the industry of government ministries was, was in attendance. And they have promised that they will going to take this matter to their superiors and bring back the uh, feedback to us. As I'm talking to you now, to you now nothing has, uh, has been done. The Omaheke Region Farmers Union's chairperson is therefore calling on government to provide them with leaks and fodder. Aminu's constituency councillor Peter Kadongo Munya says data is yet to be collected to determine the beneficiaries for the packages. After this declaration from cabinet, we are two months within the period that they have said we should have started already the 1st of July in receiving our drought relief food. But we are now towards the end of August. We don't know whether this guy, when, when this guy data will be ready and when will people start getting their drought relief food and also the animals start benefiting from whatever they will benefit. Farmers have already started to lose their livestock while those who were able to move to other places have done so. There are farmers who have last year harvested something and they have mahangu in their, 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 their storage. We can approach those ones and help others, provided they are given a little money for helping others. If we are not going to this stock, I don't know what will happen with our livestock. And we need also to ask our government to assist us so that we can go through this drought period. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Oshiwarongo.